We're going to talk about page 16 and 17 on page 1125, which is called synthetic division. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, I've been teaching algebra 35 years and I have never seen synthetic division before. I don't think. Maybe I did it in a college course. Um, yeah, but it's a shortcut. Okay, Sh students always love shortcuts. And this actually is a shortcut that works. So it's kind of cool. So I just learned it by reading the pace, figured it out, figured out that there's two rules we need to follow. And um, they give you two examples to look at. Not too bad, okay? Let's, let's talk our way through one of these and see what happens. All right, <clears throat> so first of all, What's the uh, symbol that they use? Just, oh yeah, we just go like this. We're dividing by a plus four. So they say that we're gonna change this to its opposite. So we're gonna put negative four in here, okay? Then we're gonna bring down all of these numbers. Three, 11, negative four, negative one, Negative eight. Yep, so in row one, we leave all of these exactly as they were up here. So we're just taking the coefficient off of each of these terms. I should put a plus here. Then we're gonna skip row two. We're gonna come down here to row three, and we're gonna bring the three straight down, okay? So nothing goes right here. So we're gonna take negative four times three, and that gives us negative 12. So we put that right here. And now we can add 11 plus negative 12 is negative one. Now, watch, we're gonna take the negative one times negative four, <clears throat> multiply, we get positive four. Now we add, and that becomes zero. Now we take the negative four times zero and we get zero. Add and we get negative one. Take negative four times negative one and we get positive four. And then when we add these, we get negative four. <clears throat> so what do we do with that? How do we turn that into an answer? Whatever this exponent was, we're going to subtract one from that. So in our answer, this is going to be a to the third, a squared, a, and then this is just the constant, and then we'll put this over the divisor, which was a plus four. Now, let me just check the key, because in the other examples that I was looking at, um, everything seemed to cancel out, and I shouldn't do this on live television like this, but um, yes, hallelujah, woohoo, we did it. <clears throat> All right, so the only thing different in the final answer is that because this is zero A, we don't put it in the answer. So we're going to have this term, this term, the constant, and then we just tack on minus 4 over the original divisor, a plus 4. All right. Let's get you set up on this one and try walking through the steps. Again, they have a whole bunch of these problems, so if I help you with two of them, it's not going to affect you too bad. Since we have b minus 2, then, or b minus 1, I want to put positive 1 in here. The coefficient on b to the fourth is one. <clears throat> now, what is b to the third? It's not there, so I need to put a zero for the third, zero for the second, zero for the first, and then minus one. So again, this is b to the fourth, b to the third, b to the second, b to the first. This is the constant, negative one. All right, we draw a line. This is the opposite of this one. We're going to bring this straight down. Now we're going to multiply this times this, one times one. Bring it up here, we have one. Add these and we get one. 
1 times 1 is 1. Add these, bring it down, we have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Add, bring it down, we have plus 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, positive 1. Add, and we get 0. Okay. Now we can go back, and we're going to take away 1 from the exponent. So since this was b to the 4th, in our answer, this becomes b to the 3rd, b squared, b. This is our constant, and we don't have a remainder. <clears throat> and again, just to make sure I'm not leading you astray, I'm looking, and yes! This is kind of cool. I'm going to have to remember this method. I <clears throat> have never done this before. <clears throat> Neither have you. Now we have done it together, and you have several more problems to do on your own. And uh, they have the shortcut shown with all of these steps in the score key. And again, you just change this to its opposite. M bring this one straight down. Multiply, put it here. Add, multiply, bring it here, etc. Shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully you have some fun with it, okay? Don't fret about it being called synthetic division. Think of it as a shortcut. We all like shortcuts, all right?